Until now, we were discussing and learning about Excel, but from today onwards, we will be expanding our horizon into Microsoft Power BI, which is one of the market leaders in BI platforms. I'm really excited to show you how BI platforms work and how this will substantially increase your market demand as it adds a feather of BI specialist to your portfolio. Let's go. Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats, where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms, and much, much more. So let's go. Hey everyone. So as the introduction suggested, we are starting our journey into Power BI from today. And before we start our journey, it's very essential to understand what is Power BI. Power BI is a business analytics tool that allows users to connect to visualize and analyze data. It is designed to provide insights and help users make informed decisions, right? Now, Power BI includes a range of features and tools that enables users to connect to and import data from a variety of data sources, transform and clean data using built-in tools, create interactive dashboards and report using range of visualizations, and collaborate with others by sharing the dashboard and report and working on them together in real time, right? Now, Power BI is available as a desktop application and as a mobile app for iOS and Android as well. And uh, there is also a paid version called Power BI Pro and Premium that includes additional features and capabilities. But we will start our journey with Power BI Desktop, which is free to use. So now let's quickly jump into Power BI and see how we can install Power BI Desktop, which is the free version of Power BI onto our system. Power BI Desktop is available for Windows, Mac and Linux systems. There are a few different ways to install Power BI depending on your specific needs and the device you want to use it on. Both the options that I'm going to show you today will be done using this link. Links will be in the description where you want to navigate. Now, once you are on this screen, as you can see on my screen, you will see something like this. Once you're here, there are two options. And the first option is directly downloading the application from Microsoft Store, which is actually the recommended uh, way to do it because uh, by doing it from Microsoft Store enables you to automatically install updates whenever Microsoft release a new feature into Power BI, right? You don't have to manually do anything to get those updates. Now, what you need to do is click on this download free button. Once you do that, it will give you a prompt whether you want to open Microsoft Store click on the open Microsoft store button. Now when the store opens, you can see a get button just below the Power BI desktop icon. Click on the get icon. This will start your download and it will take a while uh, to get the entire application to be installed on your system. So please give it a couple of minutes. Now, as you see, the Power BI desktop has been installed on your system. You can click on open to open the software on your system now, okay? Now, this method, as I said before, will automatically give you the updates that are coming from Microsoft so that you don't have to manually do anything, right? Now, coming to the second method where, where we are installing the application through an executable file, okay? Now, this method is only recommended if you want to install the application in a different language than English uh, because if you install the application with this method, this will not give you automatic updates coming from Microsoft. You would have to manually install the executable file again and again to get those updates. Okay. So this is how it goes. The link remains the same. You need to go to the link, which is powerbi.microsoft.com slash desktop and click on this C download or language option here, right? Once you click here, it will open up a new tab and within this tab, you can choose the desired language that you would want. Okay. And click on download. Again, it will take you to a new page wherein it asks you to select the executable file you want to install. Uh, so it depends on whether you want a 64 bit uh, setup or a 32 bit setup. You just have to click on that exe file and click on next. This will automatically download the Power BI desktop setup onto your system. And once it is downloaded, you can just simply go to the download folder and double click on the setup file and follow the instructions to install the application on your system. Okay. But remember, as I said in the beginning, this will 
not install any new updates coming in from Microsoft, you would have to follow the same process again and again in case you want the new updates. Okay. So that's how you install Power BI desktop onto your systems. Uh, that is for today. Stay tuned for more since we will dive into Power BI covering detailed topics about many cool features in the BI tool in future content. Please do remember to subscribe to the channel so that it encourages me to create such content more often. Thank you so much.